Hey guys, this is E with Scrapbooking With Me, and this is what we're going to make today. It's going to have a free template. If you're not subscribed, make sure that you subscribe and you can get this free template. The link will be below for that. And then we're going to make a little notebook to go inside here. This is a little purse heart box. And then we have plenty of room for candies and all of that kind of stuff to go on the inside for those little gifts at Valentine's Day. So this is your template, and this is what I do first on my templates. Now you can just use the paper template that you print out if you want to. I like to trace my templates off on the lightweight chipboard that we carry. It just makes it a lot easier when you start tracing it onto your regular paper to trim out and to trace. So I am going to go ahead and trace this on my lightweight chipboard and two I can make any adjusting that I need to when I put it on my chipboard if I see something that I traced a little bit crooked I can go ahead and make my adjusting there Okay, let's see if everything looks pretty good. And I like to take my ruler and just look at everything and make sure I've got my lines here straight. If I hadn't, I can straighten those up now. It looks like I got them pretty straight. Uh, this is... Okay, and then I'm going to go back and I'm going to make my score lines in here. So I'm just laying it right back down where it was. And you can do this before you pick it up if you want to. I was just trying to get everything straight first. So there is a score line and then we have another score line right up through here now on your template your score lines I will try to mark them I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to on the template but I will try to mark them on the template so that you'll know where to put your score lines if not you know you're just going to make one straight down through here and then straight down this side that's all you're going to need to do but I'll see I'll try my best to mark them and then I trim this out, making sure that I trim it just as straight as I possibly can. And then this is going to be my template that I am going to trace by. Now, if you have a die cutting machine, you can use your, you can upload your, the PDF into your die cutting machine and just cut it out that way. But this is for those who don't have a die cutting machine and just want the template to trace out and to cut okay I kind of do all of my straight lines first it just makes it a little bit easier Okay, so here is our template, and I'm just, I usually just go in then and I write heart box template, and then I put cut. Two, and I don't know why I put that out there but cut two now if you lay this out very carefully on your paper you're able to cut both sides out of one sheet of cardstock 12 by 12 cardstock so 
So we're going to lay it out like that, and then we're going to flip it over, and we're going to cut our other one right here. And if you'll hold your pencil straight up and down, and then just go around. Whoops, let me move it down just a little bit. I'm having to not get up over it so I don't get my head in the camera, and I didn't see that. So hold your pencil straight up and down, and then just pull your pencil toward your chipboard. That way it gets a good, even line. Now right here I'm going to pull that up, kind of fold it where that line is so I can go up in there. I'm going to lay it back out and then trace around it this way. Okay, then I am going to just mark my score line. And I just mark it with little dots. Mark there. And I'm going to mark right there. Okay. So I know where my score lines are. And then if you, f if you just move it down from where you were, this is where we wise up here. If you just move it down and put that little center of that heart right in there then you'll have plenty of room to get your second one traced on here because you need two of these one for each side all right so there let's see if you can see that there you go there are our two hearts both sides of it we'll lay that template aside and then we can start trimming this out Okay, so we have both of our hearts trimmed out. Now I'm going to show you how to score. If the score line's not there, like I said, I'll try to get it on there. But if it is not there, I'm going to show you how to score this. Now, to make things easier, I have on my 6 inch line right here, I take a pencil. And as a matter of fact, I need to redo that. I take a marker and I just go down through there and I mark that. So that I can see it all the way down if I lay something across it. And then I lay the edge of that right there where that heart comes around and then the side starts out. I lay that right there on that line. And then I come down here where I made my little tiny tick mark. And I lay that on the line down here. So I know that I'm on that 6 inch line all the way down. Then I just take my scoring tool. And I run right down that line, holding that straight. And that makes, see if you can see that, there we go. Makes the perfect score line from one end to the other. And then on this side, I kind of do the same thing. I lay that little edge right there. I know that's where I'm going to start scoring. And then down here, I adjust and make sure that where that heart comes into the edge of this straight line, I make sure that that's on that little six inch score line as well. And then I just score down through there. That gets both of your score lines in the perfect position. So I just do that on both of them. Let me see if I know the side that I want to use. I'm going to use this side. So let's see. Put that on there just like that again. Okay. And then we're going to just make sure that we've got that little tick mark right there. And then all the way down on that six inch line. And there you go. Got both sides scored. Then I'm just going to go ahead and fold and burnish those score lines. Okay. 
Now I've got a few little pencil marks right here on the edge of this, so I'm just going to erase those off. Right there, That's one. They probably won't be seen, but I'm just going to erase them anyway. There we go. And then we'll fold this one. There we go. All right, now this bottom part is going to come together. This little tab is going to flip over, and then this is going to glue just like that to make sure that you've got that perfect point right there on your heart. Now it looks like I cut mine a little bit longer here. So since this is just a tab, I'm going to trim it off to make it come even with the end of that. So these, these points need to be even. I'm going to go ahead and check this one, make sure. That one looks like I did it pretty good. So like I said, this is going to go together just like that. Make sure that your the end of your cardstock is right at that score line. Don't go over it. And then we're just going to go ahead and glue this together. So put your glue on this little tab. This is all that you're going to have to glue at the bottom your glue right there and then just lay that up at that score line and then press that down there we go so you got a nice sharp edge on that isn't that cute it's already looking like a little heart box isn't it and then we're going to do the same thing over here. Again, make sure that you don't go over that score line. Just like that. And then I'm going to look at this and make sure it looks like I can trim it just a tiny bit. There we go. The reason you want these to be even is when you start putting this together, you want it to fit nice and flush. You don't want one side, you know, kind of sticking out further than the other. So just make sure that the everything, when you put it together, everything looks even. Okay, now when you start to fit these together, you'll notice if you put it one way, like I'm going to try to put it that way, things don't look flush up here at the top. One of them is a little bit longer than the other, and things don't look too flush down here. We've got this gap. So that means I need to put this one inside that one. So just kind of dry fit them first and look at it. And see, that's fitting much, much better. Everything's looking smooth. That's how you want it to look. So this one is going to go inside this one. So I'm going to put my glue right here. And right here. You can use double-sided adhesive here if you want. I'm going to use wet glue because it makes it a little bit easier for me to get everything to fit in there. I can move it around. Now I put my point down there first and I make sure that that point is just as far down in there as it will go. And then I kind of work up on the sides. Making sure that they fit nice and flush. But nothing sticking out. Go in there with my bone folder and press that down really well. There we go. That fits nice and flush. Even the back, you can't tell that it was put together like that. So cute, cute, cute. Now at this point, if you want to reinforce this, you can. I am not going to have to reinforce mine because they're just going to hold a little bag of candy and a little uh, book. But if you want to put heavy stuff in here, you can reinforce this now. Just cut some chipboard to go on either side 
and that should reinforce it well enough that you should be able to put some heavy things in there. But these are going to be used just for some candy and things, so I'm not going to worry about reinforcing mine. Now I have two little black hearts that are a little bit smaller than that that I'm going to put on each side. And this will be in your template as well. And then I'm going to put a little embellishment on this. It just says Happy Valentine's Day. And I'm going to keep these flat just because they're going to be going to some little kids and don't have to pop these up. But if you was dressing this up to give to a friend or something, you could pop them up and make and dress it up really nice. So that's what we're going to put on that side. And then on the other side, on this side we're just going to put Hello Valentine. And I'm just going to round the corners on this. This was just a cutout from a paper pad. And put that right there. Again, I'm not going to pop it up. going to be for my little granddaughter's Valentine party so I need to make lots of these so I'm not going to be able to pop every one of them up. There we go. Then I'm just going to put one of these little hearts right there and this is uh, I can't remember it's, I think this is from the Darcel, Darcelli paper collection but I will look and see if I have any more of these and if I do I'll link them below and if I don't then I'll see if I can find them somewhere they have the butterflies the hearts and the circles all on there in different colors so I really like those so I'm just putting another heart right there and then I'm going to put a little handle on it with this black lace well with this black satin ribbon and the way I'm going to do my handles is I'm going to go to the side and just punch a hole and then I'm going to feed the ribbon through there and then I'm just going to tie a little knot so that it won't pull out I guess I'll tie a double knot let's tie a double one there we go. Okay. And then we'll go over to this side and I'm just going to make sure that I don't have it too long. I don't want it real long. That right there is about long enough. So I'm going to trim off just a little bit of that. And just make sure when you're pulling it across that you don't have it twisted. Sorry, I keep getting out of camera, but I'm using my belly to kind of balance this. <laughs> Who else does that? Puts things up against your stomach so that you can balance things. I do that all the time. There we go. Oh yeah, that's just the right size right there. And then we're going to make a little notebook to go on the inside of these. I'm going to put a little notebook and some little crayons and then some candy in there for them. So all I did is, you know, I have told you many times when I make these little notebooks that I make them ahead of time. Anytime I have scrap paper, I make them and I set them aside to dry. And if you want to know how to make these notebooks, I'll leave a link and a time stamp below where on a video that I show how to make these they're very very easy anytime I have scrap paper left over I do this and this is just a scrap notebook that I had that I had a few pages left in that I cut and I just cut it to I think this is three and an eighth maybe yeah three and an eighth by four and a quarter and then I just put my art glitter glue on here and use the clips to clip them together until they dry and then we're ready to make notebooks out of them now i don't know i know that art glitter glue works but i don't know if other glues will work so you'll just have to try the other ones out and see 
Okay, so this piece of cardstock is seven and a quarter by four and a half. And I, all I did was just measured my notebook. I doubled the length and then added the length, the width of my spine. And then on the, the height, all I did was add a quarter of an inch. So that's what we're gonna use right there. Now I'm gonna score this. Now I scored this at three and three eighths and three and seven eighths is the score on this. But it's gonna depend on how big you make your book, if that's gonna work for you or not. So I am going to decide which one I want to be the front and I want that to be my front right there. And then I'm just gonna lay that in there and look at it. It looks like it'd work really well right there. So all I'm gonna do now is put glue right down that spine part. Make sure that you put enough to hold your little book in there. And then the part that's glued, we're gonna lay that right down in the spine and just center it up from top to bottom. There you go, right there. Okay, so there is our little notebook. And then we're just going to do a little bit of decorating on the front. Now this is not completely dry, the spine's not, so I'm going to lay it real carefully while I do a little bit of decorating on the front. I'm going to take a little piece of this lace. Of course, this one's going to be for a little girl, so if you're making them for the guys, then you wouldn't put this lace on there, of course. We're going to run that lace right down through there. And I'm just going to use a little piece of score tape in the center. Sorry about my head getting in the shot. So we're just going to run that down through there. Then we can put that lace right down through there. I'm going to turn it back up like this to make sure that I have it pretty well straight. That looks good. Just like that. And then I'm just going to trim it off down here. There we go. Then I have a little heart that I used a die to cut out with. And it just says love. And I'm going to put that right there on the front. So we're going to turn that a little bit like that and glue that down. And again, I think I'm going to use one of these little hearts. And I'm just going to put the little heart right up in the corner of that one like that. So there is our little notebook. And it will slide right down in there, just like that. And then I still have plenty of room for candy, the little crayon packs, and all of that. Now, I have decided that I'm going to go around this black heart with a little bit of stitch marks with one of our white gel pens. These will be linked below as well if you want to check those out. It'll just dress it up a little bit more and keep it from looking so flat since I'm not putting any dimensionals on anything. So I'm just going to go around this with some stitch marks. And yes, I should have done this before I put it on here, but this is an afterthought. You know these projects are made as I 
go along so there nothing is pre-made that's cute i like that better then i think we might do that to the little book too let's just go around the edges and this can be a little book that they draw in that they keep notes in uh, a little diary I just like little notebooks. I don't know if everybody else does or not, but I've always loved little notebooks. So there we go. And that makes the little book look a lot cuter. Then they have a nice little gift that they can give to their friends on Valentine's Day. Okay, guys, that is it for today. I hope you liked this tutorial. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to click that little bell if you want to be notified when we put up new videos. And we will talk to you guys tomorrow. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.